Hey guys, welcome to 6th grade, chapter 3, lesson 6. We're going to go ahead and get started with number 2. It says, the low temperature on Friday was negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. The low temperature on Saturday was colder. Use absolute value to describe the temperature on Saturday as a temperature below zero. Okay? So, it says the temperature on Saturday was blank then 10 degrees below zero. Well, it was more than 10 degrees below zero. Okay. The table shows changes in the savings account of five students. Which student had the greatest increase in money? And by how much did the student's account increase? Okay. Well, that went down. That went down. That went up and that went up. So it's going to be between these two. Okay. Now, you just have to figure out which one is more, 15 or 10. Well, obviously 15 is. So, Carissa, with $15. Okay? Okay. All right, guys. So, we are comparing them, okay? Whenever you see these two lines outside of it, it means the absolute value. So the absolute value of negative 16 is just 16. Okay? So now, is negative 16 more or is 16 more? Well, 16 is more. Okay? Absolute value of 20 is 20. So 20 or 20 equal. Okay? Absolute value of negative 4 is just 4. So 3 or 4, 4. Okay? Absolute value of negative 12 is just 12. Absolute value of negative 11 is 11. 12 is bigger. Okay? You guys do 8 and 9. You can totally do that. Okay? On Wednesday, Miguel's bank account balance was negative $55. On Thursday, the balance was less than that. Use absolute value to describe Miguel's balance on Thursday as a debt. In this situation, negative $55 represents a debt of $55. Right, that's how much the absolute value of negative 55 is still 55. So a debt, which means the negative, of $55. On Thursday, Miguel had a debt of less, I'm sorry, more than $55. More than $55. Miguel had a debt of more than $55. Okay? Okay. So on Thursday, his balance was less than that, okay, which means that negative went further. So it means he was more in debt than $55, okay? During the game, Naomi lost points. She lost fewer than three points. Use an integer to describe her possible score. Now, she lost points, but less than three points. Well, she could have lost two points, and she could have lost one point. You can write either one of those and be perfectly correct. We're going to go over to the back side. Okay. You guys are going to do the lesson check. You totally can. I believe in you. Let's do spiral review. Dawn and Lynn took off on skateboards from the same location, but traveled in opposite directions. After 20 minutes, Dawn had traveled 6.42 kilometers, and Lynn had traveled 7.7 .7 kilometers. How far apart were they? Well, here's the thing. They started right here. One went that way and one went that way, okay? That means we're not gonna subtract because that would only give us the tiny bit, okay, of the difference between the two. We're gonna actually add those numbers because that will tell us how far apart here and here are, okay? So I'm gonna put a zero right there, okay? I'm gonna drop my decimal first thing, zero plus two, Two, seven plus four, 11 carry the one. One plus seven is eight, plus six is 14, and that is in kilometers, okay? Okay. Rico and Josh took off on skateboards going the same direction. After 20 minutes, Rico traveled 5.98 kilometers and Josh had gone 8.2, so here, is where we're going to do this subtraction because they took off in the same direction, okay? Okay, I'm gonna put my zero there. Whatever it is, it's gonna be in kilometers, okay? 
Okay, I'm going to drop my decimal first. Okay. All right. Zero cannot take away eight. I need to borrow one, making it 10. 10 take away eight is two. One cannot take away nine. I need to borrow one, making that 11. Okay. 11 minus nine is two. Seven minus five is two. So 2.22 kilometers. Okay. At about 11.5 yards of fabric, selling for 90 cents per yard. What was the total cost? So we have 11.5 times 0.90. Now, I'm just going to take that zero off the end and put it over here. Okay? Then I'm just going to do 9 times 5 is 45. Carry our 4. 9 times 1 is 9, plus 4 is 13, carry the 1. 9 times 1 is 9, plus 1, 10. Went in 1, 2, 3 places, 1, 2, 3 places, 4, $10.35. Now, because money for decimals for us only comes 2 afterwards, if this were any other number, we would round it. But since it's 0, we can just cross it off. Okay? So $10.35, okay? Okay, Young calculates the product of 5 eighths times 24 over 25. Before he multiplies, he simplifies all the factors. All the factors. What does the problem look like after he simplifies the factors? So all you have to do is simplify them. Okay, so 5 goes into 5 once, 5 goes into 25 five times. 8 goes into 8 once, 8 goes into 24 three times. So it would look like 1 over 1 times 3 over 5. That's it. Okay. All right. Thanks for hanging out for 3.6. Come on back for 3.7. See you soon.